Ryan Sellers are here at the 2016 Broadcast Asia Show. We have a very special guest. We've had him on before, uh, John Mazels from uh, Simply. How are you, sir? I am. I'm wonderful. I'm here from Australia in Asia, part of my patch as, as the governor of the Asia Pacific region. This is like nine hours of travel to get here and worth every gin and tonic of it. So that's funny. So, um, SIMPTI, for the folks that don't know what SIMPTI is, right. uh, they should know. Talk well, about it. They should know. The Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers. So, we've been around 100 years, formed originally to create standards at a time when you could shoot some film and have no idea if you're going to be able to project it ever again on, on somebody else's equipment. And I'm sure there were many experiences of, I've got my epic in the can, and you put it in somebody's projector and it just ripped to shreds simply brought in the standards that make it possible, even today, 100 years on, to be able to take that film and show it safely and cleanly, exactly as intended. All right, so, so folks that don't know, SIMPTI is Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers. And the, and the and television engineers, of course, happened a bit later when television was invented, and we facilitated all of the standards that now surround uh, the, the television industry. And so standards are such a big issue, and actually a lot of folks have gone away from standards, and it's, a, it's, it's not a good thing, and that's why you guys are here oh, yeah. to make sure that you know, you're in the industry to remind everybody that we need to, to stick to standards or cre and create new ones. Yeah, well, that, and that's true. And there, there are standards developed by Simpty. There are, there are de facto standards where, where somebody creates a product and, and it, it becomes the standard because there's so much of it. And then many times, such as with the VHS cassette, it's a Simpty standard. It was developed by somebody else, but we facilitated ensuring that then it was compatible across the industry. And, and that's the power of standards. Great. And so again, you're here at Broadcast Asia yeah. to make sure that you you're, you guys get the word out, you get new memberships, keep the organization alive and well. Of course, that's the other part of SIMPTI because we are also a professional organization. So our job is to facilitate contact between members. I only know you because of SIMPTI. How about that? Because you are a SIMPTI member exactly. and I am a SIMPTI member and we can contact each yeah, and other. And it's great. for a It's amazing huge, networking through SIMPTI. Huge for networking. And you, know, you and I both have address books that just include really interesting people <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. that we can go and ask for advice. And right. that's, that's one of the important things. And then, of course, there is the education component. So our three pillars, the standards, the membership, and the education. And we, we are working towards now our 100th anniversary conference in Hollywood in October, which is just going to be amazing. And we will be there. It's, it's going to be an amazing event. So we, of course, immediately dated this piece. <laughs> exactly. When people look back at it, they'll go, oh, yeah, that was Ryan and John talking 200 years ago about standards. <laughs> exactly. And, there's, and Simpty's still here. Yeah, Simpty's right. still here. All right. We will be. <laughs> Again, John Mazels of Simpty Australia, thank you so much for spending some time with us. And I'm sure we'll see you at an upcoming show. Now let me join you up again. All right. <laughs>